and welcome to virtualsheetmusic.com and livingpianos.com. I'm your host, Robert Estrin. Today's question is, can you strengthen your hands with mechanical devices? This is a really good question. A lot of people want a shortcut to gaining strength. They think maybe there's some contraption that can help. Well, let's kind of break it down for you a little bit. I guess what comes to mind when I hear this question, the first thing I think of is Robert Schumann and the tragedy that uh, he faced in his life because indeed he tried to strengthen his fourth finger specifically, which you know is the least independent finger. And I don't know if he used weights or pulleys or different stories about what that technology was, but he destroyed his hands and was never able to perform again. And this led to all kinds of emotional problems for him later in life. But that's a whole story for another video that we'll get into. But are there any devices that can work? Well, you know, sometimes on vacation, I will take one of those spongy balls that you squeeze just to keep my hands in shape. So there are things you can use, but you want to use something that, that provides some resistance. But I would really caution against using anything beyond something where you're using your own strength of your hands. And that's where the, the real key is. So the best thing, of course, is to practice your instrument. That's, there's no substitute for doing that for developing strength. And of course, being, uh, using a lot of common sense, don't just sail into it. If you've been away from it on vacation for a couple of weeks, you don't want to sit down and play the hardest music you can play, that's just virtuosic and all that and fast. But playing and building up and playing as much as you can will build strength as far as mechanical devices. I would be very cautious if any of you have any routines that rely on any kind of equipment uh, that you find, you know, I've seen those things you squeeze with springs, you know, if, as long as you're not overdoing it, you can, you can perhaps try some of those things. But the spongy balls I know are a safe bet because they come in different squishiness <laughs> factors. I'm sure there's a better word for that. But a lot of the physical therapy places utilize these. In fact, uh, you know, people who really have like trauma and, and are getting over surgeries will sometimes use uh, the squeezy uh, sponge balls in like water in a bath situation so that, uh, you know, everything is kind of relaxed and limber. So that's the important thing is don't do anything that is taxing, that makes sudden jerky movements. And I would certainly completely avoid anything that is an outward device, weights and things of that nature. All right, well, that's the question for today. I hope this helps you. Any of you have insights, please post the comments and maybe it'll be helpful for all of us to learn more about this subject. Thanks so much for joining me. Robert Essen here at virtualsheetmusic.com and livingpanels.com.